You're going to be shocked when you hear this next story. I came to Kfar Aza to meet Yuri. Yuri managed to escape Hamas after he was captured by the terrorists. He had one second to decide what to do. Take left to Gaza and be captured or try to escape. Let's see what happens. Let's go meet him. Salam to You know, it's really crazy. I was in the parking uh, lot right now. And for me, before I came here, it looked normal, almost normal. Almost. But then you come here and you see the atrocities. Yep. What happened on the 7th of October? You saw everything. I saw, hear, feel everything that happened here to all of my community, to all of my friends. Can you take me to the point where it all began? Yes. Where were you? Where is your house? Let's go. This is the neighborhood that's called the Dador Tzair, uh, the young generation mm -hmm. of the people of the kibbutz. So this is my, was my house. It's completely destroyed. 7th of October. What time we start? Six morning. Six in the morning. I wake up. Yeah. Need to go to run with my friend to a gym. I don't know why. Miracle, I decided that I'm not going. All the people yeah. that was running into the road was killed, was murdered. Where are we right now? Are we inside my house. This is the kitchen. That's the kitchen. This is, was the kitchen, yes. That's the refrigerator. Here wow. is the place that I was cooking. And everything is destroyed. That's bathroom here, That's right? That's bathroom, shower. This is one of the, my corner of like a dining room. I was here, couch, TV. Look at this. It's like, look how many rock, how many bullets I have in my door. Wow. And they shoot on, on, in my door when I was inside my bedroom. I was here, the shooting all over the place, in my door, in my window, from, in my friends, in my neighborhood, in the street outside. I hear also civilians screaming. Um, and this moment I was in the stand that they kidnapped the people from, the, from our kibbutz. It's the most scary situation that I was in my life. Because it's very scary and very uh, dangerous, so I go down below my bed. I was under the bed. It was here uh, 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 some basket and some uh, some couple of bags. Uh, you, you covered yourself. And I covered myself. I saw the all of the message in the WhatsApp group. All the people was they have in the in their house a Hamas terrorist and they screaming to help from somebody and nobody answer and nobody coming and I texting also come to help me. They and after a couple uh, seconds they spilled something into my house and I is starting to hear my house go, going on fire. I cannot breathe and when I started to understand that, that I cannot breathe, I take this pillow and I take the sheets from the pillow, I rape it at, and I do a mask to myself because I cannot breathe. They throw grenades inside to my house so the grenade broke the, the, the door and the fire go inside to my bedroom. I decided that I'm not dying in the fire. So if it will, the fire will go inside to my bedroom, I will jump out. I try to open the, this window and it doesn't open. And I was go out like that and I saw a tree there with I was like that. And I don't have not, and I have only a boxer. And I'm taking my hands up to show them that I'm not coming to fight with them. One put in, to my, in my face, uh, Kalachnikov. Another one, where are you standing now with a knife? Big knife. Doing like, like that with the hand and screaming at me. After one uh, moment, they just push me out from the windows. Like this? Like this, down, uh, down to, to the ground. They just pushing me in a brutal way. Did they hit you? They just pulling, pushing me to here. They screaming between themselves. 
I think that was that they talk about what to do with me, and then they understand that they decided that they kidnapped me. They just take me like that with the hands and pushing me like in a very fast way. In this moment, yeah. they understand that I don't doing nothing, so they go back to my neighborhood to continue killing. They taking me in my hand here. One like hand, this? yes, one hand like that, uh -huh. and another, and the other one hand, it was a, I have a shovel. Shovel. Yes, I understood in this moment that if he's taking me outside of the border, I'm going to be kidnapped. So this is the moment that I understand that I don't have a chance. 90% that they will kill me when I'm trying to do something, but I have maybe, maybe 10% that I will of success. Surviving. Yes, of surviving. Okay, so, so I take happened? in my hand, do it like that, and start running. You're barefoot. Yeah. You don't have shoes on. Nothing. You. you have only your underwear. Only. And you're running like crazy. Yeah. He start to run after me, and start to yell to the terrorist with the gun to come shoot me. He understand and think that he don't have a chance to catch me, because I run, like you said, I run off For my your life. life. Yep. I need to save myself and I need to listen if I hear more civilians around me. I can smell all the way death. This is the situation. Like in any moment, I can be the next one. Any moment, they can shoot me. So in this moment, I saw this Bosch. I decide that this is the place that I can escape, inside, escape to him. So I just go inside here and sit like that, inside. And you hide like this for three hours. What happened after three hours? So after three hours, I go out like that with my hands because I hear uh, Hebrew from, th from this corner. So I was going just like that and I'm yelling to them, Her tzava, I, I, that I'm Jew, soldier, and they almost shoot me. They didn't understand what I'm doing in the middle of the kibbutz. Naked? Yeah, because they saw me with underwear. So they, they understand at this moment that I'm not coming to do nothing. And then I tell them that I have a friend that live upstairs. And I tell them, take me up. I will stay with them in the safe room. So three soldiers going with guns, cleaning the building. I'm in the middle and two more behind me going like that, like you see here, they closed it, but everything was glass broken here. The door was open, Every, like you see in, in, the, in the wall. Look like at you the see anything, everything here with a lot of them. Look inside, look inside the, the houses. They managed to put you in the safe room with your friends. Yep. And they went back to fight. Yep. And all the time you hear everything. Everything. 8 p.m. when the soldier come to this building, and they knock on the door, they talk with us in Hebrew. So we understood that, that this uh, soldier of us, but it's only the, the beginning, because between 8 p.m. to 8 in the morning, they was shooting all over the place. And they was take uh, people downstairs to our apartment to be together. And 8 a.m., they telling us, Five minutes, we going out from the kibbutz. That's more than 24 hours, no? Almost That's 26. 26. Yep. 6 a.m. to 8 a.m.? Yes. And the moment that I will feel safety outside of the kibbutz, I call to my brother and I start to cry on the phone. And I tell them one thing, I'm alive. 